customer had a question about applying texture in Affinity for iPad. So everything with Affinity works the same on desktop and iPad. It's just the iPad interface is quite a bit different and a lot of the tools and options are hidden. One little trick is to tap on this little question mark here and that'll bring up the names of all the little tools. But what I'm gonna do, this is a uh, vintage workwear logo template from T-Shirt Design Master Collection 1. I'm gonna go ahead and place in, you go to here, go place image, and I'm gonna place in, go import from cloud, a texture, and we'll just pick one of these textures. Let's go Plastisol 3. These are also in T-Shirt Design Master Collection 1. And what you do is you drag and you're gonna to wanna to scale it up to the right size. So we've got this in here now. And the other thing is you're gonna to wanna to drag this texture to the very top. And in this design we have our type and we have our border. So we just wanna apply transparent texture all the way through this design. So the other thing I'm gonna do here is go to canvas and then tap transparent canvas. So that knocks it back to a transparent background. And the other thing I need to do is here, we can change this opacity mode of the texture to erase. And that'll knock that transparent plastisol cracked ink texture through the design. So now you can just save this as an Affinity Designer file, you could export it as a PDF or a PNG.